And now, from Fox 55 News, this is your local sports. Hey, good evening, everyone. Well, we're less than 48 hours away from the first puck drop on the Comet season. Fort Wayne will visit Indy Friday night to open their year. Last weekend, the K's faced the Fuel twice, beating them in both exhibitions that they played against them. But, you know, just an exhibition, and even though it is an exhibition, it's still nice to see a lot of new faces go out, get a couple wins, look like they're gelling a little bit. One thing that will be different from last year's team, obviously, all the new guys. The K's return, just eight players from last year. But you may expect to see the K's play a little st different style of hockey this year as well. Yeah, I think it's going to be a, a speedy, you know, transition team. I, I, uh, I'm going to stick to that. You know, I think uh, we're not going to be the, the biggest team by any means, especially I think our division is going to have some bigger teams. Toledo's built a pretty big team, and he's got some more size than us. But, uh, you know, we're going to have to attack him with different ways. So I don't think, uh, again, you know, the size thing's necessarily going to be um, our thing. I think it's going to be more speed, tenacity. Last year, we had a big, physical, tough team. Um, guys like Maggio and, and Shea and, and Krunk. And, you know, we had, we had a big, very big, physical team. And um, I think some teams, you know, don't want to get pushed around anymore. You see Andy went out there and signed some toughness this year with Collins. It's already, you know, willing to, to go right away. And uh, they got some other tough guys, too. And then you see what Toledo signed. Um, Toledo's going to have probably the biggest team in the league. So they're tired of getting pushed around with smaller skill guys. They went after a lot of a lot of bigger guys. Um, so it'll be interesting to see the way the division shapes out. The K's are in Indy to open their season Friday night. Puck drop set for 7.35 p.m.